Bullet, aka the Passive Aggressive Sherpa. In today's video, we're going to be talking about building full loadouts with Dim and Destiny 2 Armor Picker. There's so much to do before Witch Queen is released on the 22nd, and I've talked to several people lately that have no idea how to create and save loadouts with weapons, armor, armor mods, and cosmetics. That's not cool. I've decided it's time for you all to learn this if you haven't already. We're going to learn it right the F now. So, with just a click of a button, you'll be able to make this happen. The first thing you're going to do is open Destiny, D2 Armor Picker, and Dim. The links for both DIM and D2 Armor Picker are below. Okay, I think what we're going to do first is we're going to create a build using Destiny 2 Armor Picker. There's so many options with this. I just, I'm not going to get into them. You can figure those out for yourselves. What I'm going to do is give you the tools to just create a basic build and then take that build and have it load into dim show you where those things are equip them add the mods in dim and save the loadout so you can load it right into into the game while you're in orbit at the tower or the helm so let's begin i'm going to do this on our warlock i'm just going to create a random build with mods don't worry about the stats. Don't worry about this or that. It, this is just how one would create the build. So let's say we want to build something around Controverse Hold. So we're going to load that as our primary exotic here. Controverse Hold. Okay. Based on the armor pieces that we have, there are this many possible options to create a zero loadout. So what we want to do is you first need to decide what what values do you want for your various mobility, resilience, and all of that. Let's just say we want to go with 100 intellect and 100 recovery. Let's say those are the most important things to us. Now I like to have a high resilience of 60 or more. I like to run a lot of GMs. I don't like to die. There are people that will tell you resilience isn't important. These people are what I like to refer to as full of shit. Resilience in things like GMs is very important. If you want to get one shot at all day long, make your resilience less than 60. That's what you do. If you want to have a chance of survival, make it 60, maybe 70 or 80 if you can. For right now, the best we can do here is 50. Now, you'll notice that the other options have now decreased because there's using various ability mods, there's only so many combinations. And now we're down to three different options over here on the right. Mobility, I'm not super concerned with because we'll be able to use other mods, hopefully, to increase mobility and strength. The next important thing, discipline. We've got this build and we have three options here. This line, we'll look at the first one here. This right here is going to tell us that this build is going to require two resilience mods, one recovery, one intellect, and another intellect. What I'm guessing that means is it's going to be one minor intellect. Yeah, configuration, minor mods. We're going to need one minor mod and that's obviously the, the intellect and here's the other breakdown now if we wanted to go with this one we could copy this copy the query to the clipboard and then paste it over here in the dim search box but let's look at the other one so let's close this one up yeah, it looks like both of these are gonna require intellect mods so i think i'm gonna go with the first one actually even though i have to 
work with more mods here, this one only requires one recovery. And since recovery mods are more expensive than most of the other mods except for intellect, and this, this one requires, the second build would require three of those, that's, you know, that takes up four slots, basically. I don't have space for that. So, or I'm not because there's other mods we're going to want to use. So this is the one we've decided on. We're going to copy this query. And we're going to go over here to Destiny Item Manager, right click, paste, and let's go ahead and minimize our weapons. And here we see it highlights all the ones that we need. So we're going to pull these over. It doesn't do this for the our class item because our class item, it's only intellect, mobility, resilience, any of that comes from the actual mod. So it could be anyone. There's no other things. Whereas like the, this pair of boots is specific. It has, it has other stats besides what's given to it via a mobility or other, other first slot mod. All right, Destiny was down for a bit for maintenance. It appears to be back up. So we're gonna finish this video. We've used Destiny 2 Armor Picker to create our loadout. We've transferred it over to DM, but now we need to add the mods that Destiny Item Picker sent. So we're gonna need the, the recovery, resilience, and mods, and we need to equip all of those. So let's first switch over to the game and we're going to add the mod. Now, according to Destiny 2 Armor Picker, we're going to need two Resilience mods. So, all right, we've got one there. Let's dismiss. All right, we don't have room for one here yet, so let's make room. And let's put that second resilient mod, Resilience mod on. Let's go to our chest piece. And now we're going to need one recovery. So let's add that. We're good. This is where it's going to get difficult. This is where choices have to be made. We are going to need one full intellect mod. I'm going to choose to put it here. On the legs. So that, that wasn't as harmful as I anticipated. We're losing our access to a scavenger. But it is what it is. And then we're going to go to this and we're going to put on our resilience. And if you click here, you can see we've got the setup the way we wanted it. We've got the 50... Resilience. Now let's see if we can... Our strength and mobility. Let's make sure those... Yeah, our powerful friends... Is it, do we have two powerful friends? Yeah. Let's switch that... To radiant light. Oops, we already had a radiant light. Huh. Look at that! We can get rid of that and we can put our linear fusion scavenger on. So if I had had particle deconstruction chosen, I just recently disabled it because I needed this. But now we would have room for this if needed. Oh, we have to go back to the browser. So let's switch back. Let's hit refresh, make sure that we're looking at the, our current stat, and let's go to loadouts. And you'll see this is what we currently have equipped. We're not so much going to worry about the weaponry, but you'll see that it's got all of our ornaments and whatnot and shaders here. And you can see this is a list of every mod that we've got equipped as well as our ghost and our ship. They don't have to be there, 
but this is where we can save it. Now, obviously, you can go into your character and you can change out your any one of these that you want for different shaders and ornaments as you please. I'm going to keep it the way that I've got it. And then we are going to choose Save This Loadout. Now here, if you wanted to change guns, you could either remove it or you can add different guns to the, to the loadout so you'll have options if you'll need them. But since I'm using these loadouts for mainly nightfalls and things that, that are locked, my equipment's locked, I don't need anything else in there. But you can add ships. Can't really do anything with emblems. But you can change out your ship or add other things that you want. This is great if, let's say, you're just running the strikes playlist or lower end nightfall, and there's different parts of the, the fight where you might want a pulse rifle for one thing, but at some other place you might want a scout rifle, so you can add it there. And when you're ready, you can click save. You can assign it to this, since this has armor mods, it already chose that this is for your warlock. You can name it, we'll say test, test two. You can add notes. What I always like to do, move, uh, I click this to move other items away. So when my loadout, when I click to apply this, it's going to remove everything else away and put it in my vault. And I like that. So I go into everything fresh. So let's go ahead and save this. I want to show you what happens when you apply it. You see our test two loadout has been created here. And when we click apply, you're going to see some of the action up here. It's loaded all the, it's pulled over my other weapon. If these mods weren't loaded, it would have already loaded them. So as an example, let's look at this void setup that we've got. It's got different mods. If we were to apply this one, it's going to start pulling in whatever weapons that it needs. And then it's going to start loading all the mods and you'll be able to watch them load. And all the ornaments. And again, this only works if you're in orbit. I believe it works at the tower and the helm as, as well. And it's all, it's all done. But now that we've seen that, let's go back and let's switch over to the destiny view. And let's load the test loadout that we made. And we can see it bringing over all our weapons, switching out our gear. Now, the one thing that I didn't do that I didn't add to this build, I didn't add the subclass. And this is a void subclass. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to switch back over to our build screen and we're going to come over here and we're going to edit. We're going to edit this. We're going to close that subclass. And we're going to choose our void subclass. The one thing that you can't do is choose whether it's middle tree, top tree, or bottom tree. Or if you can, I'm unaware of how to make that happen. But you can at least load this Lloyd. You can at least load the specific subclass. So we're gonna hit save. And I'm gonna switch you back over to the destiny window. Off screen I'm gonna click apply. And there you go. And that is how you save a build with mods, with all the mods that we wanted, and you can load on the go. So when you're ready to do those nightfalls and everybody's sitting in orbit and they're dicking around with their mods, you can literally just click a button because you're smart and you've planned ahead. You can click a button and 
if you're like me, you'll end up spending all sorts of time prior to the nightfall, whatever the weekly nightfall is, building various load loadouts for end game content. So whatever the scenario, you'll have something that's going to fit or something close enough to where then you can go ahead and make some quick tw uh, tweaks to it in DIM. So I hope this helps you. Oh, a couple of last things, if you wouldn't mind. Please take a second to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And if we could get 1,198 likes on this video, that'd be great. It would be greatly appreciated. Thank you. Enjoy the video.